Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here and been here since day one, my name is Nessa. What's up, what's cracking, what's happening, what's popping, shorty, period. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my channel already, period. So, it's, it's kind of, it's very late. People in Houston do not use their blinkers. They don't know what blinkers are. Put that thought real quick, though. As you guys seen, I just got done packing up my makeup because I am going to Atlanta tomorrow. I'm about to go to my house because I have to finish packing some of the makeup that I have at home because I bought brand new makeup from Sephora. I'm sorry, I've been slacking, you guys. I'm so sorry, and I've been so busy, and I don't want to make an excuse for it. But your girl has been busy. It's been a busy couple months, so I haven't been able to get the chance to like pick up my camera. And when I'm not working, as in doing makeup, I don't have the motivation to pick up my camera to record i need to start because yeah i miss recording videos for you guys i haven't recorded an actual for real video in a very long time so yeah i'm back as you guys seen i just did a shoot that's for today tomorrow and friday today also too you're gonna come with me i'm gonna finish getting my nails done i was getting my nails done on monday but my cramps were like no bitch you're not doing anything today so i went to get my nails in the i was getting my nails done and in the middle of me getting my nails done my stomach was on f my stomach was just cramping so bad to the point where i couldn't even handle like sitting there and getting my nails done so i just told her i said i'm so sorry i don't mean to like i don't mean to reschedule but my stomach hurts so bad thank goodness she was very very understanding she was like you know what's okay we could just you just come a different day so i i end up rescheduling um so yeah it's really been nothing new with me i just been working as you guys see if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you guys follow me on instagram i am more I keep my instagram more updated make sure you guys follow me on instagram at mwanessa dot i was gonna say dot dot com make sure you guys follow me on instagram mwanessa and i forgot to tell you guys happy new year's periods it's the new year it's 2023 and we're going to make it another year i feel like my 2023 New Year is gonna be like February first. That's when I'm re I'm ready because I feel like January is like pre-trial for me. We're gonna do we're gonna start off by February first. I'm gonna get my shit together. Really, I just need to be more consistent. I feel like it's a struggle for me to be consistent because I'm literally one person that's trying to do multiple things, and it's just like once I'm like lazy and I'm and my mind is set on I'm gonna be lazy this day. I'm gonna be lazy, so I need to get out of that habit. So, what's been up with you guys? How was you guys New Year? How was you guys holiday? I didn't record for Christmas or New Year's. Say how was you guys Christmas and New Year's? Comment below what you guys did. I didn't do anything, especially for New Year's. I worked. I don't really have too much, like, you know, friends out here in Houston. And going out in Houston is very, 
very expensive. I don't care what anybody says, it's very expensive to go out of town, go out. So I ended up just working all day and I had to pick up Kevin at the airport on New Year's Eve. And then New Year's Day, I think I recorded, if you looked at my last video, which was like, you guys literally hated me for this. I'm so sorry, but I just had to post something for you guys. It was a five minute, six minute video, but me and Kevin ended up going to Stake 48 on new year's day which was very nice the steak 48 here in houston girl it's so good if you ever come to houston definitely go to steak 48 it's very expensive don't get me wrong it's very expensive but it's so worth it like it's a very nice restaurant i like it better than the one in chicago and then for christmas i didn't record i really was like my mind was set and i'm on vacation i end up going back home to milwaukee for christmas and we were there, well, I was there for only six days and I felt like I overstayed my trip. I felt like six days was too long. I would've been cool with like four days, but uh, it was cool though. I ended up spending Christmas in Milwaukee. I would never, ever, ever, ever travel for holidays ever again. For one, the airport, the airport is really what it is like it's just a freaking shit show i was able to get my rental pretty good like pretty easy thank goodness it went very well with went smooth and well with my rental but just the airport in general was ridiculous i would never ever 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 travel for christmas ever again or yeah that was the first and last and i did end up traveling with bag you guys don't know who bags is my puppy my little baby my little furry baby bags is our dog he is an american bully he is about 55 almost 60 pounds and we end up traveling with him it was very it went very well but i feel like it was just like too much going on that i had anxiety i had more anxiety than he did so yeah i probably like i said i'm never ever gonna travel for the holidays again if you guys travel let me know how your experience went i'm so thankful that my flight didn't get canceled because if it did i would have been so upset so upset so i was able to get home and everything the flights were just super expensive it was just expensive overall but like i said i didn't really record because my mind was set on okay i'm on a mini vacation not even a mini vacation because i don't consider going back home a vacation i guess i was just like i'm on my i'm like i'm not working because i end up not even working like doing makeup when i went back home and everyone was like, you should have did makeup. And I'm just like, I'm not going to do makeup because literally the day that I came back, I think it was like on a Wednesday and then New Year's Eve was that Saturday. I had a full day, Friday and Saturday. So I was like, I'm not going to work. I just don't like to overwork myself now. I feel like I've learned to work smarter, not harder. You know, I feel like that's one thing that I've learned working for myself is to work smarter and not harder because... Baby, you're gonna stress yourself out trying to um trying to work hard. And I'm not trying to stress myself out. I'm getting old, girl. I'm getting old. I just literally hit my eye with my freaking purse. It's this hard ass chain. And I literally smacked myself in the eye with this shit. And now my eye hurts so bad. So I'm about to go get some Starbucks. Just hope that it's not packed. Yeah, I have to go home and do my makeup because I'm getting my ID in Texas today. So, yeah, we're gonna go do that. And then I have to go to work. Before I do my ID, I have to go get, I have to go to work. And then once I don't work, 
I'm gonna go and trace the DMV. Camera had died in the middle of me getting my nails done, but I got my nails done. They're so cute. Period. If you're in Houston, make sure you go follow my girl, Rich Please. Yes, it's freezing. Oh. Hey, you guys. <clears throat> so I'm at the DMV. I need to fill out these paperwork. I really don't want to be here, but I really need a new ID, some eyelashes, and a little bit of powder. I look a mess. I was going to do my makeup, but I looked at my old ID. I don't even have no makeup on in my old ID. Let's hope that i can get my id today because yesterday i couldn't get it because they said that i needed another form of id so i had to go home and get my passport mind you this dnv is about an hour not an hour it's like 45 minutes away from my house and the one by my house is always busy so i came out to the one that's a little further and i'm not gonna lie it's kind of busy today i hope that i can get in because they said that i need an appointment but i didn't book one so we'll see if i kick it in and i just did this so backwards i literally just did my powder first and then my concealer do you have a brush to bring this out no i don't so i gotta use my fingers i'm gonna hope and pray that they can get me in because i have all my paperwork and stuff i already go to my picture one thing about me is i don't know the difference between a natural glam and a full glam because me, when I wear makeup or when I think of makeup, I'm thinking about full glam. And I really was going to do a full glam for this photo shoot. Not photo shoot. <laughs> Getting my ID taken. But honestly, I don't even wear makeup like that. I literally am doing a little bit of concealer. Putting eyelashes on. I really, really hope that I can really get in. Because I'm going to be so salty because i just well i really just came from work i just had to do a I did a photo shoot again today's friday and i don't have to work today let me fill out this paperwork real quick My tape ends are showing in the back of my head, but I don't care because I'm getting my hair done today. So. So, hey guys. It's a few days later. I ended up getting my ID and I was able to take my picture. But I had to give them my old ID and I felt like I gave them my identity. So, yeah, I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. I just want to come on here and for Lynn. I said Flynn. Finish off this vlog. Because I never really... Just to be able to say hey. Hey y'all. I miss y'all. <laughs> so I... Um, wanted to come on and finish off this vlog. Because I never finish my vlogs. That's one thing that I need to get in the habit of. Is finishing my vlogs. I never finish them off. You guys hear Mr. Bags. He's walking around this house like he runs shit, like always. But yeah, that was a very productive week. I didn't really talk too much about me going to Atlanta um, before I did the three-day photo shoot. I was in Atlanta for a day, and I got stuck in Atlanta because they had a tornado warning or something, and it was raining really bad. So I had to stay in Atlanta for a night. And yeah, as you guys know, when I go to Atlanta, it's for Ari, nine times out of 10. So yeah, we did a photo shoot for her. And it's always a vibe with Ari. Um, I love working with Ari. You guys seen on my Instagram, I worked with her. It, like I said, it's always a vibe. And uh, I worked with the photo shoot, as you guys seen in the previous clips. I work with them like probably twice maybe three times a month and it's always like two to three day shoots which is really nice if i lived in milwaukee this would not be happening so i'm so thankful still to be here in houston and being able to work with such amazing people 
But yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Happy New Year's to every single one of you guys. We're starting off February 1st for New Year's. Because like I said, January is like a, like a pre-trial. You feel me? So, Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you ain't subscribed to my channel already. Because, baby, what is you doing? Baby, what you doing? Baby, what you doing? Baby, what you doing? Baby, what you doing? Sorry, I'm on the phone with my sisters. Baby, what you doing? So, I'll talk to you in my next vlog. Bye. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>